Hello. This video is going to explain debits and credits for accounting. So, there's a little bit of background that you need to know for this, and I will review that briefly, or you can go back and watch previous videos from Chapter 1. Um, the accounting equation is assets equal liabilities plus owner's equity. And so, examples of assets are anything that you own that will benefit you in the future. For example, cash, accounts receivable, because that will become cash as people pay you what they owe you. Anything prepaid, prepaid expenses, because you've paid up front for them and they're going to benefit you in the future. For example, you have insurance that you prepay and you're going to benefit from the insurance coverage in the months to come. Um, equipment and land. These are just some examples of some assets. Next we have examples of liabilities. These are things that you owe. For example, accounts payable, notes payable, and anything that's unearned revenue. And that is because that means that you've received the money but you haven't yet done the work. So for example, if somebody pays you up front for mowing lawns, you owe them the mowing of the lawns. You owe them the work. That's why that's a liability. Some examples of revenue are service revenue. So let's say you have done the work, you've mowed the lawn, that's service revenue. Fees earned is another way to say service revenue. And sales, if you're doing something like the sale of merchandise. So those are your examples of revenues. As examples of expenses are something that you incur and they get used up in that same period. So for example, utility expense. Basically, you use your lights and you pay for them all in that month and it's been used up. The payment for them is not going to spill over into another period. It's been used up. Um, rent expense, same thing. If you've only paid for that month and you've already done the work at that location, if you've paid your landlord, that would be rent expense. Depreciation expense. Um, basically, anything that has the word expense. So those are your types of accounts. Now, back to this equation. On the left-hand side, you have assets. On the right-hand side, you have liabilities plus owner's equity. As you read a transaction, such as owner invested money into business, then you know that it's going to affect two accounts. In that situation, cash needs to go up, and then capital needs to go up. And so debits and credits are how you're going to make this go up and down. And here's how it works. This is a T account. It's a representation of your account. For example, this one can be any asset. So it could be cash, it could be accounts receivable, any asset. And every single account is going to have a left side and it's going to have a right side, every one of them. And in accounting, we call the left side a debit. That stands for debere, which is Latin for left. On the right side, we're going to call it the credit. So every single account on the left is a debit, on the right is a credit. What changes is which side increases it. So we said that in this situation, we need cash to go up. Well, because cash is on the left of this equal sign, cash goes up on the left-hand side. So we can also call this the increase side and the decrease side. Another word for the increase side is that is the normal balance. The asset has a normal debit balance because that is its increase side. Okay, so if owner invested cash in the business, cash needs to go up, we would debit cash. The way that looks in a journal entry is going to be, it'll have a date, it'll have an account, and then it'll have two columns, and you'll place the debits in the debit column and the credits in the credit column. So, if we were going to be making this journal entry, we would have a date, I'll make up a date, and then we would say cash, and because we needed it to go up, and we can look and see that cash is an asset, and to make it go up, we debit it, we would place it over there. So let's say we put $500 into our business. It would look like that. And so we'll need something else because we're not in balance. Whenever we have a journal entry, our debits need to equal our credits. Right now we have debits of 500 and credits of zero. So we'll need to keep going. And we will. We'll get there in a few minutes. All right, so over here on the right-hand side, we can look at liabilities. And as always, every T account or every account has a left side and a right side. The left side is always the debit side, the right side is always the credit side. However, because now we're on the right-hand side of this equal sign, 
the increase side is now on the right hand side of the account. So the increase side is over here and then the decrease side is over there. Okay, and then capital or owner's equity, which is the same thing as, is also on the right hand side. All accounts have a left side and a right side. The left side is always the debit, the right side is always the credit. And because it's on the right hand side of the equal sign, the right hand side will be the increase side. All right, so now we have enough information to go ahead and finish up our journal entry. We said that we needed cash to go up, so we debited it. We also need capital to go up because the owner invested money in the business. So how do we increase capital? Look over here, find the increase side. We credit it. So we'll indent just a little bit. Always place your credits after your debits, so that's why it's the second line down. And then we'll put it in the credit column, and that is a journal entry. Okay, let's keep going about our T accounts, though. So over here we have some components of owner's equity. In other words, the rest of our accounts are owner's equity accounts and we need to look and see how they work. So under owner's equity or capital we've got revenue, expenses, and owner's withdrawals or drawing. Okay, we need to look and see how these affect owner's equity. Revenue makes owner's equity increase. So it has a positive relationship with owner's equity. Expenses make owner's equity decrease, so it has an inverse relationship with owner's equity. Drawing also makes owner's equity decrease, so it also has an inverse relationship with owner's equity. So let's look at revenue first. It's going to stay on this side because it has a positive relationship to owner's equity. It works the same way because it makes owner's equity go up. So we're going to put revenue over here. Every account has a left side, Every account has a right side. Every account has debits on the left. Every account has credits on the right. And because it's on the right-hand side of the equal sign, its increase side will be the right-hand side. Now let's look at these two. These two work the opposite of capital or owner's equity because they have an inverse relationship. They make it go down. So. I'm going to put it on this side because it actually works the same as an asset because it's the opposite balance of capital. So I'm going to put expenses over here and every account has a left side, every account has a right side, every account has debits on the left, credits on the right. And because it is inverse to capital, I'm going to say that the increase side is on the left and the decrease side is on the right. So expenses have a normal debit balance. They go up with the debit. Drawing works the exact same way. Because it's inverse to owner's equity, I'm going to place it on this side of the equation just so that you can see that it works the same as assets. And so it's going to have a left side, a right side, a debit side, a credit side, and it increases with the debit. So there's an easy way to remember this, and it is after eating dinner, let's read comics. So if you look here, this sentence is split out by a comma. Everything on the left is going to increase on the left side, which is the debit side. So let's look at it. Asset, stands for after asset, is going to increase on the left side or the debit side. Eating are your expenses, they increase on the debit side. Dinner are your drawing, they increase on the debit side. So if I need to make any asset, expense, or drawing go up, I debit it. If I need those to go down, I credit it. So if I use cash, it'll be a credit because that's the decrease side. Let's look at the other side of the comma. Let's read comics. All of these accounts will go up on the right-hand side or the credit side. Let's stands for liability, so it goes up with a credit. Read stands for revenue, so it goes up with a credit and COMIC stands for capital, so it goes up with a credit. So let's just do a couple examples here. If I tell you that we're going to pay $90 for utility expense, then I know that I need my cash to go down. Cash is an asset. To make it go down, I go to my decrease side, which is my credit side. So my journal entry will look like this. Let's say it's still the June the 30th. 
And I'm going to skip a line because I need to put my debits first, and I just figured out that I need to credit cash. So I'm going to skip a line, and I'm going to say, um, I don't remember how much I said, so I'll just say $400. Credit my cash for $400. And then utility expense needs to go up because every time I incur an expense, expenses go up. So I look for my expenses, and to make them increase, I debit them. So it'll be utility expense. It'll be a debit. And I will continue on like that. So the only other thing that I want to say is that when you are doing debits and credits, it's sort of like learning to play a musical instrument. I could memorize the transactions of Chapter 2. There's not that many of them, so I could actually memorize them. But I don't want you to do that because, for example, if you're taking musical instrument like piano or something or flute, and if you memorize one song, Mary Had a Little Lamb, you can play that song, and you can play that song very well and probably very fast. But if instead you learn how to read the music and you work your way through it and you think about each transaction and what makes it go up and what makes it go down or what, what musical note you need to place your finger on, then you can read any music. And it's the same in accounting. You can make any journal entry if you go through this process of thinking about what account do I need to make go up? How do I make that go up with a debit? What account do I need to make it go up with a credit? Think your way through it, and you will be successful in all the future chapters. Let me know if you have any questions.